Hello, hello. Last stream for Virtually Expo. Welcome. Those of you who watched me on my last stream, I'm changing camera angles on you. Now you don't know where I'm going to come from. Thanks for joining me again, by the way, those of you who have watched. I got a pile of stuff here, but more importantly, I've got some other stuff on the desktop to show off uh, as far as images. We're gonna keep this short and sweet and to the point unless you guys have questions. Really, drop down into the comments what questions you have for me because I'm here for you, right? So, um, if you have any questions that I can answer about the upcoming releases, shipping days, things like that, let's just make this a discussion, make it a back and forth. Uh, thank you everyone who is watching on stream, on Twitch, on YouTube, on Facebook, on all the social media. Uh, I see Ruby's here, Captain is here, Paul, a lot of friends here. Uh, so let's give it a few more minutes uh, just to kind of let uh, anyone else who wants to catch us um, come in. Besides that, what's, uh, what's going on with you guys? It's, uh, it's here in Florida, 1 p.m. It just started raining uh, as expected. It was sweltering heat uh, two hours ago. Now it's going to rain. Uh, and I think we have a hurricane coming this weekend. So that's a typical weekend for Florida. Um, what's going on with you guys? Hopefully you're playing lots of games. Hopefully uh, you checked out the Empires of the North on Tabletopia. I know I'm gonna be playing that in addition to Root Digital because it's Root Digital, come on. Um, so that's what's going on on my end. Hopefully everything is going well. Paul is play testing all day. I'm not going to say more than that, Paul, because I don't know what I'm allowed to say and what I'm not allowed to say. But he can, uh, he's, he's, he's keeping busy in a good way, although it is a little bit of work. So, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun prototype, maybe, end stage. Um, is the warehouse out of Empires of the North set? Which set are you talking about, Ruby? Also, um, which store? I'm pretty sure you're talking about the U.S., but just figured I'd ask just to make sure. Um, we are out of one item. I think it's just the Japanese Islands solo scenario or the scenario sheet. I think that's it. So, <clears throat> at work, no wife, no kids can watch con. Sounds good to me. That's 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 a good setting. <laughs> lunch and maybe the lake man you you have a different different life than me eric uh the lake man if there was a lake around here uh there actually is a lake around here you jog by i jog by it a lot and uh big sign right out front do not feed the alligators it's not saying caution there may be alligators no no it's just don't feed them and by that they mean don't come close to the water um just <laughs> welcome welcome to florida again um so New Empire, uh, New Imperial Settlers equals great time. Uh, that's good math. I agree. That's that's. I'm not great at math, but that checks out. Um, USA. Yep. So Ruby, all we have out of stock is uh, the the Japanese Island Soul Scenario. Everything else should be in stock. If there, if it's not in stock, um, let me know. And you can also email contact at portalgamesus.com. Uh, Captain Link is going to play the second case of season one with my with his mom tonight. Not my mom. That'd be uh, that'd be surprising if you're playing season one with my mom, uh, because she knows that she needs to wait for me to play that one. So uh, let me know how it goes uh, without any spoilers. The only one I've played so far is Natural Causes. Phenomenal, great case. Um, dig deeper though, man. I, I'm still thinking about that one. That was phenomenal. So let me know how it goes. Maybe throw it into the Discord for Portal Games. Uh, so that we can all see. And those of you who don't know, we do have a Discord for Portal Games, just general chat information. Uh, and we have a lot of Facebook groups. No Nurshima Hex Face group, group just came out. I think uh, Captain is somehow involved in that. Maybe moderating, maybe just telling everyone how to defeat Moloch. Not quite sure. So, <clears throat> Rise of the Empires came in the other day for Mike. Breaking it out today. Hey, Mike, good to see you. And yes. Uh, that sounds like a plan. Um, I have been trying to get Zara to play with me. She likes Imperial Settlers base game more than Empires of the North, which um, it's at each their own. I mean, that's a lot of people still will like that one over that. I like Empires of the North more, just for me. Uh, 
but um, she still doesn't want to play Rise of the Empire for some reason. Um, I think it's because I told her that we're going to play all 24 games and compare scores at the end to see who uh, is the ultimate ruler. So uh, maybe that scared her away. I'm not sure. But you're going to have a blast. So, um, all right. I think we've got five minutes in of me babbling on. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely uh, drop them in the chat. But without further ado, let's get into it. Where is my list? Lots of paper right here. We're good. I got the list. All right. So we're just going to be covering 2020, the remainder of the year. You know, Ignatza likes to be the one that gives all the sneak peeks of all the new juicy stuff coming out. So I can't take that from him, um, assuming I even know what's happening uh, as far as all that's concerned. Sometimes he even keeps us in suspense. So we're going to keep it focused to 2020. Uh, again, the camera is in front of the uh, screen here. So... If you see me swaying, it's not because the hurricane is blowing, uh, tipping my house over. It's because I can't see the screen. So, jumping into Portal Games Digital. Let's talk Portal Games Digital here. Nurishima Convoy. Those of you might already know it. Uh, it is coming out September 5th. September 5th. Right there in writing or in steel. Uh, and I can actually pop over to um, I can pop over to the Chrome capture just so we can pop over to the uh, to the uh, Facebook. Definitely check out the Portal Games Digital Facebook if you are not there yet because it is awesome. They're talking about a lot of cool stuff, a lot of sneak peeks, and right here you've got the nice teaser and showing you the trailer for it. Uh, this is the, I think it's the third product from our team, although it not to say it might be the second, so I'm not sure if the team changed after Imperial Sellers Roll and Write, but um, that's another thing we're gonna talk about is the Imperial Sellers Roll and Write. So uh, I do think that this is a brand new project, maybe brand new team, but we're releasing awesome stuff. Those of you who do not know, the Imperial Settlers Roll and Write is phenomenal. It is addicting. I am hooked on the leaderboard. I do not know how those people got those scores. Uh, and I'm kind of getting stuck because I'm telling myself I cannot move on to the next field until I get 75 or more points on the on, on, on the field. So I've only gotten through the first five, um, but I think I need to back away from that strategy, just run through everything else, learn them, and then maybe come back in and try to get that high score. But I want to be on the leaderboard. I want to represent Portal Games in the right way. So um, if you guys play, drop in there. Let me know what your scores are. Let me know how you are doing. Um, I think the highest I've ever gotten is high 70s. I still haven't been able to cross the 80s on any of the boards, but it's just, man, that game is addicting. It is phenomenal. Uh, it's got great reviews. Uh, it's a lot of people are playing it. A lot of exciting uh, community and, and, and the challenges, and you're going to keep getting new sheets out. So as they come out, everyone can jump right into it. If uh, you've caught up already, then you can try to get the highest score there. And there, it's really fun to watch the leaderboards and just to kind of uh, engage and, and try to get up there. Let me check over on the chat. Is there a list of everything that is going to be in the Robin Suso treasure chest and how much will it be? Uh, we'll, I'll save that question for when we get to the treasure chest a little bit later on. That game deserves more love. Yes. I don't know which game you're talking about, but yes. I think all of our games deserve more love. More love is not a bad thing. And Convoy, Exciphers, absolutely. I actually haven't... I have Convoy somewhere back here. We've, we just moved and we're still in a messy situation. So I kind of assembled all this so it gives the illusion of order behind me. But really, if we were to pan over there, uh, and it, it's a mess. We're not going to go look over there. So uh, I haven't played Convoy, but I've heard fantastic things. Uh, it's a two-player game, so mostly I play two players with my wife, and the theme of Nurishima is not for her. But with Convoy, I'm excited to dig into the digital goodness there. So, absolutely uh, exciting with Convoy. Uh, and also, while we're talking about digital, 
Empires of the North on Tabletopia, in addition to a lot of our other items. We have eight titles on, oh, when you, we're taking out the uh, expansions, but Robinson is on there, Monolith Arena, Nurishima Hex, Stronghold, second edition. So if you haven't uh, explored Tabletopia yet, maybe now's a good time. Uh, I'm very excited for Empires of the North because that's one more way I can get Empires of the North in. So, awesome. So let's pop back over to wrong screen you think I did this before huh okay perfect we're back uh, here so let me see if I missed anything in the chat convoy yeah see again I, I even haven't played it so it definitely deserves some love uh, when I, it was actually out of uh, production when I jumped into the company two years ago so that's game's been with our catalog for a while but I'm glad that it makes a really good digital port because I'm really, I've been, been really getting into the digital ports lately. So, what do we have next? <clears throat> Dig Deeper. Okay, we're going from the top. So June, Dig Deeper, our first year, uh, first release of the year. Uh, Rob Davio, the first of the signature series. Amazing designers taking the amazing detective engine and putting it together to create gold. This case is phenomenal. I mean, it's phenomenal. Maybe I'm biased. Also, it's one of the first ones that I actually got to play because I was, as you guys saw in the previous segment, I was play testing and doing stuff of that one. Uh, but it's great. Uh, there's a little bit of more work to do because you go DOS on the screen and you have to type in command prompts and your mouse cursor goes away. But that's okay. It's part of the experience. Just open up to it. Embrace it. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, you call a librarian to get a report you have to time that properly when do you call the librarian because you still have to make the trip out there you have an interrogation questioning feature completely new uh, where your free hand the world is open and what are you going to ask them you've got a limited amount of uh, time and availability to do that um, blending history uh, I learned a lot about things that I'm not going to tell you because it'll spoil it, but I learned uh, a lot of stuff about uh, the history of Boston while playing this game and then branching off down a wiki tree. Uh, but that, you know, that's awesome. So fantastic case. Um, Rob, if you're watching, I don't think you are, but awesome job. Phenomenal. I'm ready for uh, the next uh, signature series one from, from Rob as well so uh and just a little sneak i know i didn't i said we weren't going to be talking about 2021 but petty detectives from mike selinker is next in line so uh let me see what I, the next app will be zombiaki oh i don't think so <laughs> ignatza tends not to think very favorably of some of his early projects he's very critical of his work everyone loves it and he says it's okay but all right, moving on to the next one. Unless we have questions about Dig Deeper. Uh, have you played Dig Deeper? Drop uh, into the comments. Said, yes, I played the Dig, Dig Deeper and I loved it. Uh, if you played it and you didn't love it, then that's okay. Uh, don't let us know, but come on. Everyone who's played it probably loved Dig Deeper. Um, and you can watch the Z Garcia review. Uh, he, he mentioned a few things and note on that review that the things he mentioned we already kind of addressed because he made some valid points about some of the uh, systems and the way they're set up. So we went in, we tweaked them, should be a much smoother experience. Yes, it was awesome. Awesome. <laughs> uh, what is the link for the Expo store? The Expo store, uh, so uh, I'm involved on the US side, I'm on this side of the shore. The Expo store I believe is only the EU store. So I unfortunately can't be of any help there, but if you go to portalgames.pl, You'll probably be able to find a link there. I think it's one of the main uh, sliders they have there, one of the main use points. Uh, so those of you who have been with us for a few months, you saw that we they did Portal Games US and you have been having different sales and different specials based on different conventions, the ones that are based in the US and based on in Poland. But for those of you who are based in North America, uh, go on portalgamesus.com and join the newsletter. You'll get up-to-date information on all the cool stuff happening. So, all right. Moving on to the next one, which is Rise of the Empire. Rise of the Empire is the uh, open world campaign expansion for Imperial Settlers. Uh, fantastic game, um, phenomenal artwork. 
you are going to have three sheets of three different ages. You will be trying to complete goals. You will be building up your empire and hence your engine throughout the game. You're going to have a higher cost because of that. Uh, try not to have your empire fall into ruin. You can watch David and Paul, uh, David Marchbanks from Portal Games US and Paul from the Dicey Review play this on our YouTube, on our Twitch, get lots of information. We have a lot of content out there for you guys and there's also a lot of content in the box. So uh, a whopping expansion, it's gonna make the game better in every count. It's gonna make it better for uh, for you to play if you deck build, it's going to make it better for you to play if you just don't want to deck build and play with the base decks. If you want to play one-off uh, games with people or if you want to do a full-on campaign with somebody like I'm trying to convince my wife to do when she won't play me. I think it's because I won last time and scarred her. So I think that's, that's probably the reason. So let me see if I uh, see anything here in the chat. That's one of the advantages of having a website. You can change things. It's a lot more difficult with the real printed game. I know in my copy of Detective, there are some print errors and the app mentions when I start a case. Yeah, so Detective, we definitely watch that Antares database. We make changes, we look at feedback and we interpret it. And the biggest one of that is coming out with the Game of the Year edition where we tweaked the rule book, we added some um, information to the website about how to use it better. Season one is coming out and, actually is that the next thing we're gonna talk about? No, we'll talk about that after Barbarian Horse. But with season one basically we simplified the rule book and the mechanics. So we're able to make things easy and when you click into different cases, things change, right? So next up, Empires of the North. We had a virtual launch party for this Thursday. Two days ago, today Saturday, two days ago. And that was awesome. I told Ignatza I would love it if we did something like that for most of our releases because we just threw a lot of content about this out to you guys. Uh, and it, uh, it was a lot of fun. David played a solo with something special. People were asking about the solo rules for one of the clans. So um, David uh, played the solo and there was a lot of discussions about the top five decks between Ignatze and Joanna. So that was awesome. Um, they, they lined up pretty closely, but uh, you can learn a lot about the game uh, watching that content. But Barbarian Hordes, two decks, clan decks, building the total deck count up to 12. Each of them extremely unique. The Budicia, Budicia clan is all about um, being a pirate, basically. Historically accurate figure, by the way. Well, maybe not with the cards, but you know what I mean. So she... Uh, is all about the clan is all about rafts and ships and she has a lot of them and use mobilizing them to get resources and whether you use a raft or a ship you get different resources from your basics um, your basic starting cards so that's really cool and then this guy oh man what is this guy's name if anyone knows it drop it in the chat let's see who's first Urvart that was me I'm on a delay so it made no sense asking who's first but I guess we'll see who, if anyone drops it in there. Urvart is all about spy networks. They're taking these uh, tokens, these ambush tokens, putting them on opponent's cards, and you're able to then uh, get points and get stuff every time they use the cards. Um, really tricky, confrontational, but in a non-confrontational way, if that makes sense. So, really cool. Uh, the best way to give feedback, uh, if you're talking about feedback for us in Portal Games US, if you're talking about for Portal Games US, contact at portalgames.com. You can always reach out to Poland at portalgames.pl. And if you're talking about the entire website, I'm pretty sure there's a contact feature on Antares website, but if not, uh, it's portal games, uh, portal at portalgames.pl. Sorry about that. So, um, yep, that's right there, uh, portal at portalgames.pl. Uh, and then that goes into the appropriate departments and gets sent along. So. Next game up, Detective Season 1. Um, Detective Season 1, We I've talked about this a lot lately. So what, what can I say for those of you who maybe are joining us that haven't heard me talk about this before? Detective is extremely popular, extremely big uh, product line for us. Season 1 is the response to having a more uh, approachable, lighter version of Detective. You don't want to play five, a five-case uh, campaign with the same group. You don't want to put three and a half hours into an evening. Maybe you don't have the time. Detective Season 1. Three standalone cases, rulebook slashed in half, simplified mechanisms, 
still gives you the detective experience and scratches that itch, uh, but it's got the lighter cases for you. Also inside, excuse me, we've got obviously welcome detectives and you've got the database uh, cheat sheet. Uh, you've got the rule book, much simpler, uh, tampered down, and you've got the three cases right there, <clears throat> which are also online, I believe. You've got the three decks, the tarot-sized card decks. Natural causes, a professor who died of natural causes at a university campus. Solid alibi, modern-day Italian mafia, and blood, ink, and tears. Family gathering for a peaceful quaint uh, dinner party at an old English manor that is far from uh, every other resource like hospitals and police and cell reception. Uh, and nothing can go wrong there, right? Wrong. The patron uh, mysteriously dies. So uh, that's a great one. Speaking of uh, patrons dying at a family gathering, um, have you guys watched Knives Out? I don't know if anyone in the chat watched that movie. Phenomenal. One of the best movies I've ever watched. Definitely check that out. It also has these character portraits. So the character portraits are something we did initially as a promo item for Detective. The Detective character portraits, big Polaroids, about that big. They have gotten so much feedback and so much love that we've done that for everything since. So we've done that for LA Crimes, Dig Deeper, and now this. Because they really do increase the immersion. You can put uh, right on the back you can um, pass these along and have mental cues and mental kind of jogs your memory about who's doing what and you know it's easier that way when you have a visual reference so that's season one okay so that is coming out on september uh this is the, the title that so far that we've talked about that hasn't come out yet and it's coming out on september 17th but if you pre-ordered either through our store or through the store at, in Europe. You should be getting your pre-order next week, I believe. I don't wanna speak for the European store, but we are shipping ours out on Monday. So um, obviously the US is big. So if you're a little further away from our Florida uh, warehouse, you might be waiting a little bit longer. But yes, let me just check over to the chat. Gotcha, yeah, sticky notes are a fantastic way of actually not um, maybe ruining the game not you know having the consumable or destroyable components and also that way if you ever want to replay in the future if you want to trade it or have somebody else play they can continue to reuse them that's a really cool idea okay let's see let me move the mouse out of the microphone away so you're not hearing all these clicks troglodytes okay next up is troglodytes i don't i don't have it i don't have it here to show you but troglodytes is the 14th army pack uh it is all about the uh, friendly Canadians, uh, as you can see by the image. Uh, and they have a really uh, innocent cannibalism feature. So really just all about uh, how nice the Canadians are, right? Right in theme. Uh, basically, a new mechanism where you can take the powers of other, not necessarily take the powers of other um, army tiles, arm units, but you can improve your units in your army by, uh, by uh, satiety tokens. So uh, I'll leave it at that, <laughs> but awesome new army pack, awesome new way to play. Uh, a lot of content on this. Uh, just now we had a gameplay uh, with Eric and Joanna not that long ago, so you can watch a lot of that content there. This is the 14th army pack, and the U.S. Nurishima Hex fans, if I, I'm not going to go into this and say more than necessary, but if you are considering getting into Nourishing the Hex and you haven't yet, uh, now is the time. We have some awesome bundles on the store. You can uh, go deep on it and get everything you need to start the collection. This title is not going anywhere. It will be supported a lot, but the current expansions that have been released up until this point will be harder to get a hold of, uh, not notably harder to get a hold of very soon. Um, and just throwing that out there. Um, so yeah, now's the time to get into it. Speaking of Nurishima Hex, I forgot to mention this when we were discussing Portal Games Digital, but uh, we are also working on a new uh, Portal, uh, new Nurishima Hex app, Nurishima Hex digital port 
from the Portal Games Digital team. The one that is currently out is not uh, created by the Portal Games Digital team. It was um, outsourced to another company, so we're bringing it in-house and doing our own edition of that. So that's that. Let me see. Ah, yes. Uh, hopefully sarcasm comes through uh, on camera. <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah, so, oh man, James. Late to the party, but glad you're here. You you missed you missed you missed a lot. Luckily, you can play it back after uh, after we finish. But we just were talking about all the 2020 releases, some digital portal games, digital stuff that it's coming up, and maybe some sneak peeks as to uh, some stuff uh, for next year. But we're we're keeping it simple, keeping it to 2020. There's enough here to focus on, right? All right, we need to. I, have to, I need to update my armies. I have 1.0, 2.0, 3. armies in the same box. Joe, uh, like I said, uh, now might be the time to do it. Um, in, in, in 2021 and on, it'll be much harder to get a hold of the older army packs. But at portalgamesus.com, we do have some awesome bundles. I think they're all 50% off in two different bundles. So you can jump in there and get them. Also, Portal Points. I launched that program. It's been doing phenomenally. So don't don't forget, guys, if you're buying stuff from us, don't ignore the Portal Points. It's You can get $5, 10 $20 uh, store credit. It's really cool. So uh, definitely don't ignore that. I'm seeing so many people who have points, and they're not using them. So, yeah, that's free money. Okay. All right, golems. How many more do we have? Just two more. All right, so Monolith Arena Golems is coming up October, late October, Essen time. Uh, it is the third army pack for Monolith Arena. Fantastic army. I'm super excited about this one. Uh, I was excited about academics, but this one, for some reason, the like the artwork of all of the different golems looks like elemental comic art, like all these... Yeah, it's just I always like that kind of stuff. So the mechanics are also really cool. They do uh, they're very powerful <clears throat> until they're damaged, but they don't get removed if they get uh, hit. Um, they just get less powerful, I believe. But then you have units that run around and repair them. So uh, really interesting. I haven't played it yet. So um, pardon me if my description is a little lacking in detail, but. Uh, this is coming out in October. It's going to be uh, the next expansion line for Monolith Arena. We have some also some cool deals on PortalGamesUS.com there, and the European store has some deals as well. Um, so yeah, look forward to Golems uh, and play this on Tabletopia. You can try it out there as well. So, Joe. Uh, for the armies, uh, if you're, he was saying he was just there and he didn't see it. So if you're on portalgamesus.com, um, I I maxed out the size possible on the in the code for the button, but there's a button on the bottom that says load more. Um, man, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm wondering how many people will go on looking for that and miss it because that button kind of blends it's it's blends in. Maybe we'll have to make some changes there, but um, there's definitely a load more button on the bottom as far as the bundles. Uh, question from James. Uh, I'm not sure as far as the issue about getting Rise of the Empires into the UK. I know that I, I talked to Greg, our production manager, and he is focused and scrambling around making sure to tie up all of these loose ends because there we were just hit with so many different delays and so many different shipping and logistics issues. Notably, because obviously what's happening in, in the world, uh, I'm not sure if that's fixed, but I know that someone is working on it. That I can guarantee you. It's not being um, ignored. So, and there might be some issues with the partners. There's lots of moving parts. Much more complicated in the EU than it is for us here. Um, okay. Last is <clears throat> the Robinson Crusoe treasure chest. I know we had some questions about it. So. The, what is the treasure chest? The treasure chest is us taking all of the promos that we had released for Robinson Crusoe the past eight, nine, ten years, um, eight years, um, and throwing it into this box with a rule book that encompasses all of them at one simple price point. So we've had uh, lots of promos, lots of support for Robinson Crusoe. Fans have been fantastic uh, with this game and they've wanted more and more content. So we've been releasing from cards to new characters, to new scenarios, to new tiles, new mechanics for the game. Uh, so all of that is going to be in there. 
uh, in addition to, I think, one or two unique items, potentially. <clears throat> the big unique item uh, is going to be available to purchase separately, of course, for everyone that has uh, s supported Robinson Crusoe through its uh, life and purchased all those items. But if you haven't bought the promos yet, I would say hold off. Wait until wait until um, Robinson Crusoe Treasure Chest comes out, which at this point, because of the delay coming out of manufacturing in China, it's uh, expected to be here in mid-November. The pre-order will be launching for Portal Games US and Portal Games EU in October. So, uh, <clears throat> that's what the treasure chest is. Uh, not to be confused with the Book of Adventures, which is a Kickstarter uh, of all the different scenarios presented in a beautiful bound tome. So, uh, that's what's going on with Robinson Crusoe treasure chest. As far as the list um, of everything, I don't know if we have one out there, but it's the, it is the promos that have released to date. And... Um, <laughs> Believe it or not, I use BGG as a reference for that. There's a fantastic thread on BGG about like every expansion and broken down into little details uh, or every promo, and you know somebody really put a lot of work into that. Uh, it's an official thread, so I actually use that to reference a lot um, because I just if I were to create something myself, I couldn't beat that because that's just a phenomenal document created. So uh, you can go in there and get all the intricate details on all of the individual promos, every single one of them, basically. Uh, but uh, that that's what's going on with the treasure chest. Gotcha, Joe. All right, sorry about that. Um, if there's any, qu if you guys ever have any um, issues navigating our site, just definitely reach out to us and let us know. And we we're kind of gonna work on that. Hey, Chad, good to see you. <laughs> so 100 spy glasses. I don't know how many spy glasses are in it. I, there are spy glasses in it, I believe, but I do not know uh, exactly how many <laughs> there will be. And those of you who don't know what Chad is talking about, there was a item. A, uh, infamous item that was released for Robinson Crusoe, which is a spyglass, like a cardboard spyglass that you can tear to then get a special boon um, during the game. <clears throat> uh, let's see, what scenarios will be in the treasure chest from Leshek? Uh, I believe it's all the scenarios that are um, all the different promos that we've released. So you've got Tracing Dr. Livingstone, you've got Treasure Island, you've got... Um, what are they? They're slipping my mind right now. You've got... Actually, I can't recall all of them, but there's four different scenarios that we have that are add-on scenarios that you can purchase. So uh, those will all be included into the treasure chest. Uh, so let me see. The question is... All this... So... Um, I'm trying to understand. So I think we're talking about what you could do with the box. So um, we're not gonna have empty boxes for this. Uh, this was discussed, but the majority of the people we've pulled on this are gonna take the stuff out of this and put it into the Robinson Crusoe game the box uh, because it will all fit. So I've got all of my Robinson Crusoe promos, everything that's been released, fitting into my um, Robinson Crusoe box. And I've even, not, not even just I have an insert in there. I have uh, a wooden insert that I built. Um, and poachers, that was another scenario, thank you. Um, so I, I have that and it'll all fit in there. So um, yeah, so that's why we're not gonna be releasing an empty box, but uh, I'm pretty sure um, most people will end up just purchasing this and throwing all these promos into their base game of Robinson Crusoe. And it looks like uh, Stephen Bonacore just popped in. The pod father is here. Actually, he just played Robinson Crusoe for the first time the other day. And I think he won. And uh, he says that he played it correctly. So congratulations, Stephen. It's because I gave him all the pointers over all of our meetings. He was, it was building up to this moment. So Dutch Yoda says his spyglass is still intact. You, sir are a true explorer that's awesome <laughs> so um let's see what else i missed in the chat um yeah cool all right we're all caught up so that's what's going on with the treasure chest guys so i've got i went through all of my pictures here so uh let me know if you have any other questions we're gonna hang out for a little bit longer uh but besides that i hope you guys had a really good virtual expo um i think everybody's getting really familiar with all these virtual cons and doing it better and better uh, so hopefully that's, um, that, that went well for you. 
uh, everything we talked about a little bit earlier. Have fun playing Rise of the Empires. Those of you who said are going to be playing Rise of the Empires, have fun uh, play testing. Have fun doing all those awesome things. I've got a kitchen to build, and then I'm going to play Root Digital tonight, and maybe some Empires of the North. So that's going to be exciting. Uh, yep, they played Robinson and they won scenario one on the second try. Awesome. I know that Steven, uh, that uh, you guys have been meaning to get into that for a while now. And I think I'm, I, I got you, I'm the one who got you guys that Robinson Crusoe. So I'm really glad you guys were able to bust open that shrink wrap. I, you're an inspiration. I have a lot to look forward to in retirement. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so perfect. Awesome, guys. Well, Thank you for joining me. Uh, I will, those of you who watch my weekly segment on Twitch, so I do have, uh, not weekly, bi-monthly, um, which is every two weeks, twice a month. I know that sometimes gets a little confusing, at least for me. Uh, we're switching around the schedule a little bit, so I'll be doing it again this Wednesday. And that's another place where you can just come in and just like this, chat with me. We can talk Portal games. We can talk Robinson Crusoe strategy, which is not that hard, guys. Maybe Steven will vouch for it, but for Robinson Crusoe, it's just you got to rest a little sometimes, and sometimes you got to tidy the camp. I mean, I know it's boring, and I know people scoff when I say it, but tidying the camp, that's where it's all about. you got to prepare, you know, get your mind right and be, be ready. So, And also build shelter. Every time I play with one group of friends, they always go for the weapon levels first. Why? It's raining. It's cold. You're sitting under the open sky. Who cares if you have a nice knife that you made out of, a, of, of, of an old bone? No, you build shelter. Anyway, tangent. It's... Sorry, we'll talk about all that stuff on the uh, stream on Twitch, so you can join me there, pop in there, discuss strategy, uh, and <laughs> Steven says, I'm too young to retire. This is a hard industry to be in. Publishing is, is tough. I might have to move that up a little bit. Um, so, yeah, awesome. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy the rest of the expo for the rest of today and tomorrow. Uh, and I'll catch you next time. So happy.